This question is from Gate Mechanical Engineering of 2014. This is question number one of set two. The question is one of the eigenvectors of the matrix. So the given matrix is here. We need to find the eigenvector among these four options. Okay, which one is the correct eigenvector for this given matrix? So let's say the given matrix is A minus 5, 2, minus 9, 6. Okay, these are the entries of this matrix and from the property of eigenvalues and eigenvectors we know if ax is equal to lambda x if this condition satisfy where lambda is the eigenvalue and x is the eigenvector so if this matrix satisfy this condition then lambda will be the eigenvalue and x will be the eigenvector now to find the corresponding eigenvectors, it will be a little longer process since we need to first find the eigenvalues and then we need to substitute that values to find the eigenvectors. So one way that we can do here because we have little lesser time in the exam, so we can check all the option corresponding to the eigenvectors. So let's say option A is x, the eigenvector is minus 1, 1. Okay, now let's check this one if this is the eigenvector for this matrix. So, right, it has to satisfy this condition lambda x, right? Now, first we will find ax, okay? So, a is minus 5, 2, minus 9, 6, these are the entries, and x is negative 1, 1. This will be equal to minus 5 into minus 1, that will be 5 plus 2, so this is 7 and uh, the second entry will be minus 9 into minus 1 is 9 plus 6 that is 15. So if we write in terms of lambda x this if we want to write so we'll write 1 into 7 15 right but we have assumed here x is negative 1 1 so th if this is the eigenvector then this must be x and this must be x so these two x are not matching right so we in the option a it is given that x has an entry negative 1 and 1 and here we are getting 7 and 15 so option a is incorrect similarly we can check other options so let's check option b so according to option b we need to consider the eigenvector to be let's see here minus 2 9 right minus 2 9 now if we find ax from here, we'll write negative 5, 2, negative 9, 6 multiplied by minus 2, 9. So this is x here and this is a. So this will be equal to minus 5 into minus 2 that will be 10 plus 18. So this will be 28. This is minus 9 into minus 2, 18 and plus 9 into 6 that is 54 so 18 plus 54 is 72 so if we try to write it in terms of lambda x we can write this as 4 times of 7 and this will be 18 if we are saying that this is the eigenvector so this should be x and this 4 is lambda but we can see here this value of x and again this value of x does not match right so this cannot be the eigenvector and this lambda is equal to 4 is not the eigenvalue. Okay, so option B is also incorrect. Now let's check option C for eigenvector. So x is 2, negative 1. Okay, so if this value of x is the eigenvector, so it must satisfy the equation ax is equal to so first let's find out ax, x is minus 5, 2, minus 9, 6, multiplied by 2, minus 1. So this value will be equal to minus 12, minus 24. Okay, so this value will be equal to, if we take 12 common, we get this is minus 1 and minus 2. Okay, so again we can see that's, this is also not correct because if this value of x has to be the eigenvector, so this is x and this is lambda, this has to be the eigenvalue, but we can see here that this value of x does not match with this value of x. 
okay so this is also incorrect therefore it is clear that option d is the correct choice okay but let's see if option d matches so according to option d the eigen vector is equal to so let's see option d option d is 1 1 okay 1 1 so according to option d this is the eigen vector now let's find ax so a is negative 5 2 minus 9 6 this must be multiplied with 1 1 and this way will be equal to minus 5 into 1 is minus 5 plus 2 so this will be minus 3 this is minus 9 plus 6 is minus 3 now if we take minus 3 common so we have here 1 1 now here we can see now this is the eigenvalue this is the eigenvalue lambda and this is the eigenvector x now we see here it is satisfying this equation ax is equal to lambda x we don't need to find the value of lambda that is eigenvalue we just need to see that these two x matches that is the eigenvector therefore option d is the correct choice so this is correct okay so this is one way to uh, find out Okay, another way is we can just simply find out the eigenvectors. Okay, that procedure we all know. Now, since we have checked all the eigenvectors, all the options for eigenvectors, and we can see that option D matches the correct choice. Okay, so option D, that is 1, 1 is the eigenvector. For more information on eigenvalues and eigenvector, you can refer to the NPTEL course, lecture number 46, Eigenvalues and Eigenvectors on Engineering Mathematics 1, by Professor Jitendra Kumar of the Department of Mathematics at IIT Kharagpur.